Welcome to Morzac EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. This is the second video in our series of charge point installations for your home. If you haven't seen the first charge point video, I'd recommend going back and watching that because we give a nice introduction and go through a couple of the charge points that are on display here. And now we're going to cover the remaining charge points. All the credits. So I'm displaying here the timestamps for each charge point in case you want to skip forward to each section. I'll also put that in the description below so you can easily navigate through the video if you want to jump forwards and backwards. Next we move on to the EO Mini Pro version 2. So this is an upgrade of the original EO Mini Pro which looks almost identical to this. Um, it has a couple of upgraded features for those of you who do know the EO Mini Pro. One of the main draws for the EO Mini Pro is in the name, it's its size. Um, if you compare it to some of the other charge points, you can see how small it is. It's actually smaller than a A5 piece of paper. Um, it doesn't stick out a lot. And you can see it's not much bigger than the charging socket itself. This comes in a tethered and untethered version. The tethered version has a five meter cable which wraps around the unit. It has Wi-Fi connectivity, so it can connect directly to the Wi-Fi in your house. So the EO Mini Pro version two also has the options for load management and load balancing. So that's where if you've got too much power being used in your house, or your mains fuse is too small, it will actually monitor what's being used in your house and taper back your, the, the charge drawer on the car um, so you don't overload your house's main fuse. You can also use it in a garage, for example, where you have a smaller supply coming into a garage. So those are great options. It does also have an option for solar integration. So it will monitor your solar output um, and when you're sending solar, your solar PV electricity back to the grid, you can use that in your car instead to charge your vehicle for free. It has a nice app where you can disable the charge point when you're not at home or schedule charges for certain times of the day. So you can make use of low rate electricity tariffs. So the EO Mini Pro version two is available in four different colors. It's available in black, silver, white, and a nice bright blue color. The EO Mini Pro also requires an earth rod or a pen fault detection device during installation. So overall, it's a great product. It's the most compact charge point available on the market today. Next onto the MyEnergy Zappi 2. So the Zappi is very famous for its integration with generation technologies such as solar PV, wind turbines, batteries. MyEnergy also have a product called the Eddy, um, which uses the solar PV to uh, run your immersion heater in your hot water tank. Um, so it integrates with all those renewable technologies uh, to save you money and lower your carbon emissions. So the Zappi 2 itself is available in the 7 kilowatt variant and 22 kilowatt variant, three phase charging. It comes in a tethered cable with six and a half meters, or there is a socket option, and the socket's right here. And the socket option also has the option to lock a cable in. So this is really useful if you want to have um, a 10 or 12 meter cable, for example, you can buy that separately, lock the cable into the charge point and use it as a tethered charge point with a much longer cable. 
Uh, it comes with a fascia in black or white. Um, and then it has a lot of options inside it, a lot of tweaking that can be done. So you can use load management, use your solar for free. It has a great app which where you can prioritise your water heating, battery storage, or using your solar to charge your vehicle. So it's very flexible, um, a lot of options. Uh, very highly favoured by many people who have solar installations. It's quite a nice looking charge point for a lot of people. The cable wraps around it quite neatly. Another great feature of the Zappi is that it doesn't need an earth rod. It's got its own pen fault detection system built in. Uh, so no earth rod required can make installations very simple, especially if you have some kind of metal clad building uh, that you want to mount the charge point on to. Okay, so this charge point is the Anderson A2. So the Anderson is available in a range of colours and you can have different colours on the sides and the top to the front. It's available in a bunch of wood finishes as well as different colour metal finishes. So everything about the Anderson is designed to be pleasing on the eye as well as technically capable. So it's only available in a tethered version. This is a tethered version. However, the cable itself wraps around the unit behind this front panel. So this allows the cable to be stowed away without being seen. So it kind of has the advantages of a tethered charge point without any of the drawbacks in the, in the visual aspect. So the Anderson comes in a seven kilowatt and 22 kilowatt version. The seven kilowatt comes in a five and a half meter cable and it's also available in an eight and a half meter cable. The 22 kilowatt comes with a six and a half meter cable. So the Anderson has the facility to load balance. So it monitors the loads in your house and will reduce the amount of charge if that gets too excessive to make sure you don't overload your house's main fuse. It also has the facility to monitor your solar loads and when you're distributing solar back to the grid, put that in your vehicle instead, charging your vehicle for free and using up that renewable energy. The Anderson doesn't need an earth rod, so it can be mounted on metal clad buildings and you don't need to worry about that during installation. So just show you a little bit of how the Anderson works. When it's connected up, there's a light inside. So when you open the top, um, the interior is lit up. You can open the top, unravel the charge point. So if you can see on the sides here, the charge point itself has brushes. So when your charge point's been lying on the floor, it gets dirty. As you wrap it up, these brushes actually brush off any dirt and excess water. So it does tend to keep the cable clean and stops your hands getting dirty. So there's too many colour and material options available on the Anderson to go through in this video. Uh, we will do a separate video to showing you some of the variants. Um, but I'll include a link below to the uh, Anderson page on our website um, so you can see some of the different finishes and materials that are available for the fronts. So the Rolex Home Smart comes in 7 kilowatts. There is a 22 kilowatt version available as well. It comes in tethered in a five meter variant, as well as a socketed untethered version. As standard, it comes in this funky black with bright green trim, but it is also available in a range of custom color options. It connects to the cloud via a built-in SIM card on the Vodafone network.
The Emon by Open EVSE is quite a specialist charge point. It's available in a 5 meter tether version as well as a type 2 socketed version. The Emon is unique in the way that it's on a completely open platform so you can hack the charge point and control it via smart apps and things like Raspberry Pi. So for anybody who's into their programming and hacking their smart home or controlling their smart home through their own means, this might be the charge point for you. It's on a completely open platform, so you can access all features of the charge point. Because of this open platform, it does mean you can schedule your charging if you know how to program it to do so and control it via load management and work with generation technologies such as solar, wind turbines, batteries and anything else that you might have in your home. This charge point does require a Type B RCD and an earth rod or open pen fault detection device during installation to meet the current building regulations. So overall, it's a unique option and if you're into that sort of techie stuff, it's great. So now onto Wallbox. Wallbox are a company based in Spain. All their chargers come in 7 kilowatt and 22 kilowatt versions. And they have a few different chargers in their range, which we'll just go through quickly. So the basic model is the Pulsar Plus. It's a small little unit. Uh, it only comes in a tethered version. It's small and funky. And when it's charging, the lights around the edge here that you can see actually pulse, hence the name Pulsar. The next unit is this Commander 2. This is a nice touchscreen unit with a, an intuitive display where you can control everything from the charge point. Uh, it has a load management facility which you can adjust and control from the display, uh, scheduling. It only comes in a tethered version. The next unit is this Wallbox Copper. It comes in a tethered and untethered version. It has this cool LED display and it actually has facial recognition. So when you stand in front of the charge point and plug it in, it activates the charging. So this is really useful if you have some kind of shared parking and you're worried about somebody else using your charge point. So this is applicable to apartments with an underground parking, for example, or, uh, you know, a communal parking area and you want your charge point there. You stand in front of the charge point your face activates the charging and it starts charging your vehicle so nobody else can steal your electric. The final model in the range isn't so applicable here, um, but it might be in the future. They're the first company to produce a home version of the vehicle to grid charging system. So it's only on trial at the moment. It's not very easy to get one installed unless you're part of one of the trial schemes. But the Quasar is the world's smallest vehicle to grid charger. It's, it's quite a large unit still, but a lot smaller than the commercial vehicle to grid charging units, which are frankly huge. So it's worth keeping an eye on this. Um, they're kind of leading the leading their market in, in vehicle to grid charging systems. So overall, there's some cool products. If you're looking for something a bit different, check out their range. So I hope this video was useful. If you like the video, please smash that like button. Please smash that like. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. We will be doing videos on each of the individual charge points. Uh, we'll show you a bit of the installation process and go through the individual apps, show you how they work. So if you want to get notifications of all those videos, subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you do have any questions on the individual charge points or anything you want to see in the future, please leave a comment below. And in the meantime, thanks for watching.